I would say the meetings were much different than they've been in the past. Oh. In a positive way. Oh. Oh. And, hmm. and that there was some real honest conversations that I appreciate. And I mentioned that, you know, at, at the end of the year, and I talked a little bit about it, uh, you know, in the post MVP press conference, but, you know, last year, you know, my frustrations that, you know, some of them I talked about in my first press conference when I went back to training camp, but, but a lot of 40 them minutes. You remember you sat up there for 40 yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> What a year, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. Oh, fuck, man. I want things to get a little quiet, you know. <laughs> quieter, man. I just make this decision and just, all right, let me just enjoy myself. Man. Yeah, you know? yeah, you should be able to. I think that'll happen whenever you make your decision. But go on. Last year, exit, you think your frustrations were with what? It wasn't like money, yeah. I don't think. I was, I was behind closed doors talking about some of my frustrations. With some of the, the, you know, the, with some of the members of the organization and some of the uh, way the organization uh, kind of operated, and to their credit, and I mean this, uh, so many of the things that we talked about. This is a big clip, okay? This you, what you're saying right now is going to be heard by a lot of people. There's people laughing in the background. I I don't want to like just jump to any conclusions. But I just want you to know, it sounds like there is a woman laughing in the background. I just would like to let that be known out there. Now, what you were saying about frustrations. <laughs> it's the TV. Um, it's what? The TV. TV. TV it's watching television. Joy Behar. <laughs> it's the TV on right now. <laughs> Well, that's a whole other thing. Watch it, Joy. That's, that's a whole other thing. Whatever you're watching right now is going to start a whole other war. I mean, that is just a whole other. Anyways, okay, there is somebody laughing in the background. It is the television. All right, good news. Just you know, just in case. All right, I couldn't hear that. You guys got good speakers. Um, had a baby seat. Had a baby neck. Had a baby work over here. Well, I don't even know for Sam. <laughs> no, your frustrations <laughs> behind closed doors were actually it wasn't about money. Like going into last off season as opposed to this off season behind closed doors. By the way, can I can I ask about this? How do you think the Schefter accumulation of information came to be? Was it because you were having these conversations behind closed doors and numerous people knew that there was frustration? Or what do you think that whole process was as opposed to what it is this year? I. I don't. What's the question? Schefter? Is something about Schefter? I kind of lost my train of thought. Well, yeah, Schefter. I, I mean, you I love that guy. Get his information. I don't, I don't know how he gets his information. No, but that was accurate, right? You, there was conversations happening behind closed doors, obviously. And what were those conversations about? The frustrations yeah. you said, yeah? There was, you know, there was phone calls. There was Zoom. There was face-to-face -face meetings. You know, there was a lot of conversations that, that, uh, that were had. I mean, the members of the coaching staff came out to the house one night. It was that was an amazing story. Um, we had a good time together, but they they basically uh, they basically tailgated on the on the one on the PCH, sorry, or PCH, uh, waiting for me to get back to the house because I was at dinner with uh, you know a couple Buddhist friends of mine that I told them was a priority, and I was not going to miss this dinner. So they waited around the house for me. <laughs> I was getting texts from my security guy like, hey, there's random people uh, outside your house. I was like, uh, what do they look like? It looks like like five or six guys. I was like, yeah, they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> so things are much different now, obviously, right? And what were your frustrations then you think that got kind of quelled or dispelled that it's much different this year? Well, I'm not going to get into specifics. I don't think that's okay. fair to do. But this, a lot of it's centered around communication and, and doing a better job of, of communicating. Uh, and look, one of the first days I was back, Brian and I have got, had a conversation, a very honest conversation um, after a, a walkthrough. And that was meaningful to me. And I think from that was kind of like the best, you know, analogy is like the, that was the me and Brett Favre shaking hands on stage at the NFL Honors. That I felt like, and I think a lot of people, and Brett would probably say the same thing, I felt like it was kind of a catalyst to get Brett back in the fold. Let's get him back in the fold. He's going to Packer Hall of Fame in 2015. He's going to Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2016. Let's make sure he's back a part of, like, uh, the Green Bay Packers family. And that's what that conversation was with Brian and I, was I felt like that was kind of a first step to having a, a real uh, free-flowing conversation 
and friendship, and I'm, uh, I'm definitely thankful for the work that he put in uh, on the relationship, and Russ Ball as well. Uh, Matt and I, I think every year we get closer and more connected and feel better about our communication, and obviously, you know, working with Nathaniel and, and Luke Getze was just outstanding. I love those guys, and, and mentioned them and their incredible wives um, earlier, but but uh, but it was a lot about a lot about communication. Some you know technical stuff, some kind of habitual things that I don't think you know that I thought we could do better. And to their credit, there was I saw a lot of growth. At the same time, it wasn't a one-way street. I knew that I had to grow as well. I needed to, I had to be more comfortable, you know, with those conversations, with uh, uh, being responsive to them. Uh, in a super timely manner, trying to find kindness in in the you know adverse moments or the difficult conversations that we had, hmm. and I feel like we all grew and and had to, you know had a good year of uh, of communication, had a nice 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 conversations after the season, and and I felt uh, felt really good about how that uh, that got tied up before I left town. 